light and stretch it. Exercise number one, either a split stance or half kneeling halo, your choice. If kneeling doesn't feel good on the knee, go with the split stance. If, uh, split stance is a little bit more challenging from a balance standpoint. Next, it's the cat stretch row on your TRX straps. This is the one where at the bottom position, you let your shoulders protract and your thoracic spine round a little bit before rowing yourself back up. Uh, next, it's the behind the neck, good morning. So you're gonna do half a halo in a standing position just to get the kettlebell back behind the neck. Now, I'm gonna let this sort of drape into my fingertips so that it's resting between my shoulder blades. My stance width is about swing width. I'm gonna think about keeping my sternum up and pressing my hips back, allowing the knees to bend a little bit, but it's mainly the hamstrings that are taking the load. By keeping my elbows up and my focus up, I'm making this into a thoracic extension exercise as well, so it's quite stretchy. After your five to 10 reps, carefully bring that bell back around. Uh, it will get a little bit tired in that position, but I like the balance there rather than doing this in the goblet position all the time, especially if I'm really going for uh, more repetitions. The 45 degree swing. I'm gonna set up with a wider than typical swing stance, the bell in front of one foot. Whichever foot it's in front of, that's the hand that's gonna have the bell. I'm gonna height the bell back between my legs at about a 45 degree angle. And cast it out to the side. So we're getting some deliberate thoracic rotation there in the bottom, same thing on the other side. Height back at 45 degrees. So notice my torso is basically staying up and down, but my shoulder is coming through and that's creating that rotation in the spine. Keep it light, uh, pretty easy here. Finally, we've got the long push press, which you can do off of a bench. So you'll be in your squat position on the bench, drive up to overhead, swivel the feet and windmill down to whatever depth is good for you. Come back to center, squat again, boom, up, swivel the feet, windmill, stretching down into it. So I'm pressing my hips back. So this leg has most of my weight, keeping the shoulders open. One more on this side, squat, unload if you're doing it to a box. Drive up, swivel. Notice that I'm allowing both knees to bend here. You can do this with a straight leg if you're quite mobile. It just doesn't feel as good to me as allowing my knee to bend. So three of those on one side, three of those on the other. Keep that fairly light as well. When we're in the 15 to 20 pound range, and you'll go through the whole block uh, one to two more times depending on time and energy. There you go.